Okay, I finished my matcha app. Look how cute my app is. Look how cute it is. What do you say? We call it a night and get some beauty sleep. You go. I want to review my notes one more time. Hi, I'm Sarah. I've never coded an app before, but recently I've been seeing a ton of people on Instagram making super cute apps and I thought I could join in on the trend. Because I've been obsessed with matcha lately, I want to build a tool that can take a picture of this matcha, rate it, and also save my favorite cafes. I'll walk you through the whole process, how I designed it, coded it, and built it all in one day. I can't finish all this and sleep at the same time. You have to sleep. It's what keeps you pretty. I usually get home from work and get settled at around 7 p.m. So I don't actually have too much time after work to work on personal projects. But I still really want to build a cute website and do it quickly. So I'm giving myself four hours to build this app because I want to see what I can actually accomplish in one night. And I want to have most of the features done before my favorite cafe closes at 10 p.m. So to make that happen as quickly as possible, I'm going to use an AI tool that will speed up the setup and get me building right away. Let's start by asking Lovable to scaffold a simple web app just with a camera input put in a title and then I'll just add the extra functionality as I go. This is what it's given me so far. It's pretty simple and the camera doesn't actually work for some reason. So I'm going to have to edit this a little bit. We need some sort of distraction for everybody. Anything new on YouTube? You can basically create any app you want with Lovable. I've used a lot of AI tools like Cursor and Copilot to help me while I'm coding, but I've actually been looking for something that can handle a bit more, like the UI, the database, and deployment all in one. I did a bit of research and I saw a lot of people on Instagram talking about Lovable, using it to build their own app. So I reached out to the Lovable team and they ended up partnering with me for this video and gave me some extra credits to try out. Thank you so much for coming and thank you for bringing props. Uh, let's just explain a little bit to the audience what matcha is first if you will please Okay, so this matcha is from Tokyo, and then this one is from Costco. If you look at the powder, it kind of actually matches the bag. This one is a lot more of a vibrant green, and this one is yellower. You can tell this one's probably higher grade. So my other idea is to rate matcha based on its RGB value and how close it is to an ideal matcha color. I have gotten a few questions about my keyboard. It's a Keycon keyboard with magnetic switches. It sounds very nice and clickety clackety. I did attempt to bring this keyboard to the office, but it was just a bit too loud and I felt like people were gonna find it distracting. Been up for hours. Why? I realized last night that at this rate, I will never finish all the work I have to do. This logic will probably need some tweaking and it will be faster if I make the changes in my own code editor. I can just click this button on the top right and it will generate a GitHub repo for me. And then I can pull it into Visual Studio Code, make the changes and push them back. Everything will sync up automatically with my lovable project so I can keep prompting for my last code change. Hey, now the camera works. All right, so I have a quick update to where my app is. I've improved the rating logic a little bit. Basically, I realized that I couldn't just use RGB values because RGB is just taking the color of this and it can depend a lot on like the lighting. For example, if this is in the light, it's gonna be a different color than if it wasn't. So I'm using HSV, which is hue saturation value. Kind of just gives a more accurate rating of the color. I have a matcha picture. Honestly, I think this should get maybe a four. Oh, four and a half. Okay, that's pretty good. A little bit generous, but that's good. Let's upload another picture. This actually looks a little bit worse than the previous one. So I actually think this is accurate. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the matcha logic. I just need to make it look a little bit prettier with some pixel art. I'll just be working on my iPad. I've got a little pen and I'm gonna be drawing in Procreate with a pixel brush. I really like pixel art because it's actually pretty forgiving and easy to do and it also looks really cute and has a retro feel. So my idea is to create a pixel matcha cafe and let's do it. pixel art it can be a little bit challenging in the beginning but the first tip I have is to make the canvas a bit smaller I'm using a 400 by 300 size pixel grid but that's a little bit big you can ask ChatGPT what's the ideal pixel size for your screen that you're gonna be using it on the next thing to do is to turn on the drawing guide so then you have a grid on your canvas and then you can see which squares you're actually filling in oh. 
I've always considered myself a creative person. I love picking up random hobbies and designing things for fun that I can use, but between university, job hunting, and now working full time, it's felt really hard to express that creativity in my work. I sometimes just feel like a robot and I'm just executing some code. But I actually had so much fun working on this project because I haven't really had that creative feeling while coding these days. And I'm really excited to test out this app on a real cup of matcha that I like and see if it matches my rating. Doesn't matter because I'm going to take a nap. So I just took a nap. I've finished the pixel art. I've also changed. And the next thing to do is to work on Figma. So this is what I have going so far. I've got a little matcha slushy machine, a matcha slushy, which I've actually never had one before. Ice matcha latte, a hot matcha latte, and cute little shelves. So this is pretty much what the background is gonna look like. And up here, I'm gonna say like, rate my matcha, something like that. For any of my projects, like my room renovation, my knitting projects, and now this app, I love looking at Pinterest for inspiration. I think I like it a lot more than Instagram. It just curates my vibe a lot better. When I was thinking about this app, I was looking at different color palettes and styles of art, but I really felt like pixel art is just the most simple and most forgiving Okay, so now I'm done the Figma. It looks like this and I'll show you the layout right now. You press this button or the upload button and it should take you to this screen where you could fill out your rating. There's stars, you can change that and you can type in the text box here and click save and it should save to the database. Then in the database, I wanna display all those images. You click here and then you should get into the gallery and you should see all the matchas that you've reviewed. For my Write My Matcha app, I'd like to connect it to a database so I can store my matcha images and then display it later in a different page. So you'll first need to create a super basic I already have one here. You go back to your app, you click this top right button, Superbase, and you press connect Superbase. I have one called Matcha already, so I'm gonna connect. All right, now that I have my database set up, it's time to make it look pretty. I'm gonna show you how you can use your mock-up images, pass it to Lovable, and it'll create an app. All right, this is the prompt that I put into Lovable to transform my UI. And this is what Lovable gave me. It's actually pretty close. I'm using pixel art, so it's a little bit difficult when it comes to scaling, and that's why it looks a little bit blurry, and also there's a black border, so I'm gonna to have to give it some more specific instructions. I knew exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. There's just one more thing I wanna add, and that is authentication. This will let every user save their own personal matcha reviews to the database, and when they log in next time, they can see what they have saved. You can use email and password, but today I'm gonna to use Google because I feel like everyone has a Google account and it just looks clean with the single sign-in button. I finished my matcha app. Now I'm heading to my favorite cafe just before it closes. So I'm really excited to use this app and I'm excited to save all my favorite cafes and keep track of the ratings so I can give my friends recommendations. Dwight, at 8 a.m. today, someone poisons the coffee. Do not drink the coffee. More instructions will follow. Cordially, future Dwight. So this is one of my favorite cafes because I just love the look of it. It's so aesthetic and cozy and I really want my future house to have like these high ceilings and plants all around. I feel like my eyes are bigger than my stomach when I came here because I got a matcha croissant, a matcha, and also a cake, but they all were really yummy, so I'm happy with it. Lately, I've also seen how these AI services like Lovable have completely changed what is possible as a solo engineer. If I were to estimate how long the styling in HTML this project would have taken me, I would say about a week, just to get it looking half as good as it does now. And honestly, I don't really want to spend my time that way, especially working a 9 to 5. And that's why I think doing a project with AI right now is one of the best things that you can do to prep for your future. Even while I was working on this project, I picked up a lot about prompting like how you need to be very specific and how you can guide the tool with context and it'll make a huge difference in the output and it also helped me get better at reading and debugging code that's written by something else which is a very useful skill at work when you're reading other people's code Anyways, on to the last step, publishing the app. Lovable really makes this so easy. Once you're happy with everything, you can deploy straight from the platform, just click this button and your app is live. You can share a working link with your friends and other people can use your app on their own devices. The 
looks like the app is not perfect. I think the rating logic could use some work. So what I'm thinking for the future is, since I'm already collecting a bunch of matcha images and I have labeled pictures, I can use those labeled pictures as my data set to train my machine learning model. That means I only have like 500 more matcha lattes to buy, but it's all for science. So sue me. No, don't sue me. That's the opposite of the point that I'm trying to make. And also, I genuinely love Lovable. It helped me to build and ship this app in less than a day, and I don't think I would have been able to do it without it. You can try it out for free, and if you want to get a subscription, you can use my code SARAH20 to get 20% off. So if you liked this video, or I inspired you to make your own app, hit that like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And in two weeks, I'm finally posting my Toronto office tour. I can't wait to share with you. It's going to be so much fun. See you then. Bye.